Hi everyone, my name is Maggie, and in this video we're going to continue comparing d functions. In the last video, we came to a couple conclusions. The first one is that if we want to compare distances from the nucleus, then we need to compare values along the horizontal axis. So this might be in the form of left and right. Okay, the second conclusion that we came to is that if we want to compare relative probabilities, then we need to compare vertical values. And this might come in the form of comparing the heights of the peaks. Okay, so we're going to look at some statements and decide whether they are true or false. So the first one says, the two electrons are equally close to the nucleus because the heights of the two peaks are equal. So from first glance, we can tell that this statement is going to be false because they're trying to use vertical values or heights to compare distances from the nucleus. If we actually look at it, we can see our blue value has an average value there, and our red function has an average value out here. So actually, our red function is farther away from the nucleus than our blue function. Okay, let's look at another statement. So the next one says, the red electron is on average farther from the nucleus because the red peak is taller. So once again, just like the last one, they're trying to use vertical values to compare distances from the nucleus. So this one is going to be false. Okay, if we look at the blue function, it has an average value right here. And if we look at the red function, it also has an average value of right here. So they actually have the same average value, meaning they are equally close to the nucleus. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so our third statement says, the red electron resides closer to the nucleus because the average value of the red peak is to the left of the average value of the blue peak. So this statement off the bat looks promising because they're using horizontal values to compare distances from the nucleus. Let's just double check to make sure they are correct. So again, we'll start with our blue function. Blue function has an average value right there. And our red function has an average value here. So they are correct. The red one has an average value that's to the left of the blue function, meaning that it is, on average, closer to the nucleus. So this statement is true. OK, and we have one more. So our last one says, it is possible that on average, the electrons in these two d functions reside equally close to the nucleus. So this one is a little bit different. It asks, it's asking us to compare their average values. So I'm going to start with the blue one. You might be tempted to put the average value of the blue function right here under the highest point. But you have to take note of this little blue area over here. Because we have that area over there, it's going to shift the average value of the blue function to the left. So it will be somewhere around there. OK, looking at the red function, similarly, you might be tempted to put the average value of the red function right here under the highest point. 
but it actually is shifted to the right because you can see we have more area on the right side than on the left side. So I'm going to move the actual average value is right about here. So since these are just rough estimates, it is entirely possible that on average the electrons in these two d functions reside equally close to the nucleus. So this statement is also true. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.